Hello IB Economist, high level, looking at paper 3. Some of the things to avoid going into your paper 3 exam, just to be careful of when you're doing the exam. These are very common mistakes. Number one is the most common for sure. Taking for granted these 2 and 4 markers, being complacent in them, and not writing the detail required to get into that higher band, to get the maximum marks, by far the biggest mistake. Watch my video on how to answer these written 2 and 4 mark questions for you to make sure you don't fall into that trap. Max detail. A uh, lack of that can cost you badly. Answers not to 2DP, bad mistake. It's written on the front cover. You've got to make sure all your answers, when there are long answers, are to two decimal places. That's important. Um, forgetting your currencies, your units, your percentages, not seeing that um, the diagrams or the tables are in thousands or hundreds of thousands and then your answer is therefore scaled wrong. Common mistakes. Just take an extra second to make sure that when you finish your answer, it's clear and it's correct in terms of the units, in terms of the currency, all that is there. Picking the wrong question is another big mistake, do you know what? A lot of students, that five minutes reading time in a paper three is a long time, very, very useful time for you to go through every part of the question so that you pick the right two questions. But so many students often see that the first page is something they like, they find easy, they then just go for it, not seeing what else is there. Picking the right question is so important and not to have stereotypes. A lot of students don't like macro questions. They just find them difficult. When often I think macro questions are often the easiest. They see linear demand supply and they think, shoot, let's go for that one. Absolutely. It's the best thing that can come up. And then they get all these weird pernickety questions or parts of the question that come up in the next few pages. And then you're thinking, oh, you know, why did I pick this? Now it's too late for me to go back and do something else. So taking your time in the five minutes reading time, getting the right question where you can Answer every part of that question and get full marks. That's so important. Don't regret your choice later. So important. Macro and international questions are often very simple. Don't discard them for things you think you like, when actually, in reality, the question is harder than you thought. Number five, not knowing your key definitions in theory. Oh my God. I've marked papers in the past where people have left definitions blank just because they haven't given enough weight to definitions in paper three. They come up. Definitions come up, of course they do, in written form. Theory comes up in written form. If you just forget that or don't give enough weight to that before your exam, you're going to be in big trouble. Now, your paper three is going to be merged between your paper one and paper two uh, in your exam period. So you should know all your theory and definitions. But if you just leave that all to one side for whatever reason, you're going to get caught out. Don't be that student who forgets to learn or doesn't learn all their key definitions in theory or take shortcuts for the paper three. It's not all calculations you'll have to write and learn definitions too. Right, so don't be that student that falls into this trap. These are the common mistakes. You don't really say any more than that. A lot of students are good with their calculations, are good with showing they're working. Um, so often that's, that's a good side of this paper. These are the common mistakes that I've seen in marking paper three. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video.